My name is Muhammad Ali, and I'm a professor at Athabasca University in Canada. I'm very delighted to present to you some of the mobile initiatives around the world. There are many, many countries around the world who are looking at implementing mobile learning because they see the benefits of mobile learning. So you should be able to describe mobile learning initiatives around the world by the end of your study lesson. So let me talk about some large-scale global initiatives on mobile learning. Many, many countries are introducing mobile learning to their students because they can see the benefits and they see having people using the technology to access the internet as an economic advantage because if people access the internet, they will be informed of what's happening in the world and they can access learning materials. First, let's talk about the United Arab Emirates. Uh, they have a large iPad initiatives where students in the universities and colleges are actually uh, taking the iPad the tablet computers to, to their schools and they take it home for learning at the same time. So major initiative in the UAE, United Arab Emirates, so for each student to have an iPad. Students already use the iPads and they use smartphones, so they're very, very comfortable to use the iPad. So it's very important for United Arab Emirates to train their teachers, their professors, instructors how to design mobile learning for, uh, for tablet computers. Thailand is distributing 1.7 million tablets to children. And eventually they're planning to give each child in, in Thailand one tablet computer. And again, they see the benefits of students able to access the internet using tablet computers. Brazil has a major initiative where they're actually giving teachers 600,000 tablet computers. And the next step is for them to provide students with tablets. I think Brazil is doing the right thing compared to other countries. Brazil is actually giving the tablet computers to teachers first rather than to students. And if teachers have the tablet computers, they will know how to use it. They will feel comfortable to use the tablet computers. Then when students get the tablet computers, then they will, be, they will be able to teach the students and help the students. So I think countries should follow what Brazil is doing. Give the teachers the, the tablet computers and mobile devices then to the students. And in that way, the teachers will be trained. They will be comfortable with the tablet computers. And then they will be able to help students. The country of Qatar has the National 2030 vision. And they're encouraging the citizen to use ICT in a variety of sectors, government, business, education, so that they can become innovative, they can become entrepreneur and develop excellence in education. So the country of Qatar is actually investing quite a bit of resources in the introduction of ICT mobile in, in the country of Qatar. And one of the projects that I'm involved with is improving communication skills in the workplace using mobile learning. I'm part of a large research project that's funded by Qatar Foundation, the Qatar National Research Fund. And it's a collaborative project with uh, Athabasca University, Qatar University, Qatar Petroleum, and Qatar Mobility Innovation Center. And the purpose of this project is to develop training materials, lessons for employees so that they can improve their English skills, so that they perform better in the workplace. So this is one example of a country taking a major initiative in terms of mobile learning for the entire country. South Korea is planning to digitize their curriculum by 2015. So students will take tablet computers to their schools rather than textbooks. And actually, South Korea is actually investing quite a bit of money to make sure that students have tablets and the curriculum is digitized so that their students can access the curriculum even using tablet computers. Again, major initiative on use of mobiles in education. So the United Nations has the edu education for all goals. And there are many, many small projects around the world to make sure that students have access to learning materials so that they can become educated. And one good example of that is the Ken Academy, where students can go online 
They can take tutorials, online tutorials, and they can learn their high school courses, course materials, etc. And that's one example of how you can use open education resources, mobile technology, so that you can have edu education for all. The United Nations Millennium Development Goals, they are two projects that I will mention here that's actually contributing to the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. And those projects are actually related to the healthcare. One of the projects I'm involved with is in uh, the country of Ghana, where we are looking at using mobile technology to train physician assistants in the rural area so they can help people in the rural area with health matters, they can help mothers with uh, maternal health so that they, they can improve their health, health so that they can have healthy children, etc. So if we train the physician assistants in the rural area, then you will need less doctors, which means you will have more health care for people in the rural areas. An ex excellent example of mobile learning. You train people in a remote location. Another example of a mobile project is to allow people in the country of Zambia to access health information using their mobile devices. And if they can use their mobile devices accessing health information, they can be up to date on their health and they can find out how to prevent uh, diseases. And if they have a health problem, they can find information on how to deal with the health problem. So there are many, many projects going on, on around in the world in, in use of mobile to help achieve the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. And the only way to achieve these goals is to make sure, is to let the people around the world use their mobile devices to access information and to access learning materials. So as teachers, you must be involved in developing and promoting mobile learning for mobile learning to be successful. And again, the students out there have mobile technology. So as educators and teachers, you have to prepare your learning materials so people can access it on their mobile devices. And eventually all information, all learning materials will be electronic. So students will have no choice but to access using technology, digital technology, mobile technology. Thank you very much. <laughs>